New York's last free college is in danger of losing that status. Administration at Cooper Union planned to impose tuition for the first time in the college's 153-year history. On Monday, December 3rd, students staged a protest, during which 12 students locked themselves in the college's clock tower. They announced their presence by dropping a banner which blocked the window of the president's office below. The lock-in lasted seven days, during which time the banner remained in place. We were founded in 1859 by the great philanthropist and industrialist Peter Cooper, who uh, this building and the institution housed within it is considered his greatest achievement. Um, the only reason the school is trying to charge tuition for the first time uh, is because of the gross uh, financial mismanagement of the school's funds by the Board of Trustees. We've made it through two world wars and a Great Depression, and they are trying to sell this off as a recession. But this is a scandal. We've been in this problem for years, and they have been lying to us, to the public, and to the media about it. such a problem that even though they're not going to charge necessarily for the undergraduate school, they are proposing to charge for the graduate school. And to me, that's just a slippery slope because it's just a matter of time until um, they start to bleach into everything else in this, that institution offers. Many groups expressed support and solidarity for the students, including the OWS-affiliated Strike Debt. Protesters adopted the color red to symbolize the connection between their struggle and the wider issues of student loans and other forms of debt. On Saturday, December 8th, we joined them for a march and rally.
Cheryl is probably the oldest alumnus here. Yeah! And one, and one of the most beautiful. <laughs> and one of the most beautiful! <laughs> however, however, she can't speak too loudly. She can't speak too loudly! And I can. <laughs> We come from a generation. We come from a generation where we demonstrated. Where we demonstrated. And sometimes we won. And sometimes we won. And I hope you do. And I hope you do. Cooper Union administration has announced no punitive action will be taken against the students. In a minor concession to one of the student's demands, a student representative will be allowed to attend administrative meetings. However, the plan to impose tuition has not been scrapped.